Hello there, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. If you haven't already, go check out the first 10 days. How the heck did that? Never mind. Link in the description. We'll enjoy the video. Day 11. I wanted to tame an Argentavis and get some crystals. But it was night so I decided just to get the stuff for the RG trap. If you didn't know to trap a flyer you make four of these and will I'll show you later in the video. But I kept gathering stuff as the sun finally came up. Then I made a gateway and a gate. Now to go get crystals from the cave over there. Apparently when you are out of stam above water you can still fly. Which I was surprised by. There is where I died. Wait a minute my parasaur is still alive. I'll be back for him. Hopefully there isn't anything at the beginning of the cave. Looks good. I got all the crystals I need. And wondered if it was worth it to go farther. Nope I am still a chicken. Time to go back. Hopefully this drop is good. Wow so amazing am I right. Made a spyglass which is very useful when looking for good levels. Then began gathering stuff to get arrows. Then I made plenty of arrows. Then turned them to trank arrows. Then went back to getting stuff for the trap while gathering fat. The lookout parasaur saw something. Turns out there was a baby parasaur. I gave it food and left it to grow. Then another one hatched. Unfortunately I only want females. Cause the babies drop very good things. Back to making the trap. I got half of the stuff for the trap now. I think the maturation speed is up to high. This is the lower level tech terrible now so. He's gotta go. Rest in peace. Already can unlock the fabricator. I gathered resources all the way to night 11. Then I crafted the last piece of the trap. Apparently I gotta be level 60 to 4 in Argentavis saddle. But I still wanted one so I put the trap items at my BT. Day 12. I began my journey to get a Argentavis. But there was one thing I didn't know. How often I was gonna have to land. And how many alpha dinos I was gonna see. So enjoy this little clip I made. For those who want to know, I was landing after about 20 seconds of flying. At least I found an explorer's note though. Wonder what that is. Oh hell no I am new to here. I'm gonna need gasoline soon too. Look at all that good stuff. Unfortunately there was no good level Argies at either of those mountains. Oh look at these guys. Oh W what did I do to them? That level 51 was the best I saw. So I wanted to put the trap somewhere near here. Only problem was the hyenas. Then for whatever reason I wanted to see what was up here. Not exactly what I expected. Definitely not touching the lava. But there was this weird entrance there. Guess I gotta take out the bosses first. I've never seen that place before. Then I went back and set up the trap. Once I was done I tried to get this gate to open outward for an extremely long time. Then I gave up. Then I finally led the hyenas away. Once I was done I took a break. Then it was night so I just waited around. A yellow drop appeared so I got that. Holy Jesus! I got exceedant flak boots. Which are amazing. Then waited the rest of the night. Day 13. I started it with getting the RG Adver. Took a while to get him to the trap. Jesus I am a But I still got him there. And after a while of tranquilizing she was down. Which is when I realized I forgot meat and narcotics. So I had to get more cause I gave all that was on my PT to my RG. Luckily there was a pterodon stuck in a rock. That should be enough. And it doesn't look like I need narcotics. Then I had to leave an RG away cause he was too close. Then I just waited around. Then finally. By the way still need main suggestions. 
Then I headed back which was a pain cause the RG was slow and my PT had bad stamp. Not sure what killed these but it is free mood so. Yeah it took a while. Wonder how the Dilophosaurus are doing. Look good. Finally home. Then I made a rifle. Rather than getting any of this good stuff, I got a camera. I am a literal idiot. Just need some cementing tape for a fabricator now. Still need more than this though. Day 14. Grab some stone. Looks like another parasaur hatched. More eggs for me. Crafted all the cementing paste. And made the fabricator. Feels good to finally have one of these. This is a very useful level up cause I got a saddle and a cryopod. Anki has gotta be the best dinosaur to have. Lots of narcotics now. Been waiting on these eggs for a while. First one was a girl. Second was a boy and last was a girl. Time for more metal. Guess I can get stuck for spark powder also. Wasn't too much metal up there. Still don't know how to do that. So much spark powder. Not sure why but I kept these parasols. Gonna make a feeding trough. Then I wanted to make a few parasaur saddles. I had hardly any time. And well. Then it was too dark to kill anything. So I just did some things around base. I was going to figure out why I couldn't repair these. I just needed wood. I am an idiot. After a while I figured it out. Day 15. I got Sydney the raptor, and well, I still needed time. And the doom music kicked in. I tried. I have a question. Oh God. Why? Yeah, that is gone. Looks bad too. Oh sweet, a blue drop gotta be good, right? Why? Blue drops must hurt me hard. Made a few of the saddles. Oh hey, this is the intermission. So go get a snack while I tell you about what you've heard a million times. Only 4.5% of you are Chads or, I'm a girl Chad. So make sure to subscribe we are almost at 30 subscribers. And I put lots of effort into these videos. For example it is 1 o'clock and I have been doing this for an hour at least. That concludes the intermission. Then I brought a few parasaurs over to the breeding circle. I am very embarrassed by this. How did I even miss that? Whatever on with the video. I brought another parasaur over. Then the doom music kicked in again. They drop prime meat which is really good, then I got a preserving bin so the prime doesn't spoil. Brought the last few parasaurs over. Look at all those eggs. It was too cold though. I hate when Bronos stomp around my face. But if he swung his tail once everything would be destroyed, and all my dinos would add them. Luckily I leave him far away, and he stopped being mad.
Day 16. I wanted to find some explorer notes, so I began the adventure. Heck yeah, we can get guns now. Then I googled where all the notes were. It worked fairly well. I already had more than enough for the RG saddle. But I wanted a lot more. And this island had lots. So I began the journey over there. Then I was finally here and I found quite a few not gonna lie. But it was night so I wanted to head home. I ended up at level 69. Nice. Then I checked the requirements for this boss fight. Then finally went back home. I found this weird explorer's note. Which meant I wasn't level 69. Day 17. I returned home to a purple drop. I swear this island hates me. I needed chitin for the Argentavis saddle. So I killed a few trilobites. And of course, almost drowned. Cause it is the Ark Ocean if you aren't drowning. I survived though. Then the eggs hatched. And I think you know what is gonna happen all of you. Then, I needed hide. <laughs> then I could finally make the saddle. Heck yeah. Then I needed more high, but this time, I had the Argentavis. Then I accidentally hit a Bronto. I led him out to the water, and the Bronto must have stopped caring, cause I never saw him again. Literally never saw again though. I think he must have been eaten by something, cause I searched for this Bronto for a while. Then with all the hide I got I made a set of flags. He looking kinda cute though. Day 18. I start with going to get metal with the RG. I got a nice bit of stuff. Then it was time to get some levels. I got more. But as I attack them, they just disappeared into thin air. Moving past that I made a lot of spark powder. And then went out to find a new base location. And found this yellow drop along the way. Hey, that's pretty good. Don't mind if I grab this explorer's note. Then I watched a video on good base locations. The spot I want is right in between three mountains. About right here. I got distracted by this monkey. Then I tried to take cause I wanted. But he attacked so I dropped him. It was getting kinda dark, so I just grabbed this beaver and headed home. That spot I wanted is really dangerous and if I went there in the night I probably would have died. I saw a tech rex on the way back might tame it some time. I got back home and began tranquilizing the beaver. Day 19. The beaver was finally knocked out. I gave her some good and realized her torpor was dropping really fast. Hopefully she doesn't need all 90 narcotics. While the beaver was taming, I wanted to tame a dolphin. I did, but I didn't check the level so it was really bad. I wanted to kill the shark for some reason, I can't remember. When I did, I looked behind me and saw this dude. How the hell did you get here? He was literally almost dead, so I had to bring him to safety. Then I remembered my beaver and got scared she woke up. Quite the opposite and she was tamed. I brought them all home and saw this monstrosity. Lots of free levels though. Then I disabled their mating cause it was annoying. And cooked all the prime meat I got from the babies. Then I decided to kill the dinosaurs near my base. 
when my other dinos decided they wanted to help. Look at this mess. I have a question for God. Why? Really? Then all throughout the night I brought the dinosaurs back, one by one. It took about 10 minutes. Day 20. I began the day by looking at this shotgun. Moving on. It did however give me an idea. To get lots of cementing paste. And I mean lots. Just look at it all. When I got back I decided to make lots of charcoal. I got a flare gun from a drop and didn't have any other use for it. I did a bit around the base. Then made quite a bit of trank darts. Then I went to get some height for the beaver saddle. But that still wasn't enough. Finally I had enough. Now I can get tons of work. But the sun finally set on the 20th day. And 16 hours of recording and editing finally led to this. Which is nothing. I wanted to fight a T-Rex or something. But I just didn't have the time. Maybe in 30 days of arc. If you made it this far. Thank you so much. And I am getting very desperate for Dino names. So any name you comment as long as it is appropriate. I will use. Subscribe like buying.